What's up, everyone? Uh, I think I put some medicine on. I think I might be getting like a little bit of a cold sore, but it's already almost gone. It's probably from my niece's dog. Anyways, but we we'll call. Woo! I made him out. Who boy? Or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, <clears throat> anyways, um, it's good, don't it? Black Metal Wukong is essentially a single player dungeon crawl. That's what it is. <clears throat> Uh, if we were playing WoW, if you we were playing WoW, you would have to like sit in queue or be in a city talking to people in world chat looking for heals. Me DPS. I'm a hunter. Cool. New DPS. I'm a hunter. Too many hunters. Uh, okay, well, what if we get all hunters? Well, maybe all hunters. I'm a warlock. Well, now we have a warlock. We wanted a warlock in the first place, and now we have all hunters. Drop one hunter, add the warlock. Okay, shit like that, right? <laughs> Instead, you can just change your gear. Somehow, I bought Final Fantasy X-2 on Steam. Maybe it came with Final Fantasy X. Maybe it was free. I don't remember Final Fantasy I, I remember specifically not wanting to play Final Fantasy X-2 because it was all about the girls changing their outfits. But I thought about something. I was like, what if playing Final Fantasy... Final and as soon as I thought of this idea, I was like, no, it's a stupid idea. But, but I was like, what if Final Fantasy X-2 would help me understand why all these K-pop bitches are so obsessed with changing their outfits all the time? I have to put it out of my red band that gives me plus 5 stamina, and then my high heels that give me plus 20 slut, and all that bullshit. Alright, so, I don't, I don't have anything else to say about the Roman Chen bullshit. They were awfully secretive about their bullshit, and allegedly, when I hacked them, which is like... Allegedly, because like no one can prove anything, but if I was to A, admit to something, or B, if people could prove anything, I could technically get into trouble for that one, because like, they only give you so much, they're only willing to like, sign on the dotted line, you can do so much, like, for example, it's over 10 years ago, so I think, it's over 15 years ago, so I think I can talk about it, back when I first started cleaning up my record and all that bullshit for like bar fights and all, for, for like bar fights for like having a life and not taking people shit uh, and it turns out that most of the people who were trying to give me shit were corrupt anyway so I don't really view it as a bad thing but one of the things they would have me do was like catch people who were like illegally selling things now at the time you know, I didn't really have steady income, so I was like, well, you know, I could just I could just tell them that, like, I'm going to spend $400, but I'm really going to spend, like, $100 or, like, $200. And then there's, like, ways to, like, all that, allegedly. But, like, if I ever was to admit to that, or if I ever was to, like, you know, if they were to ever, like, have evidence that I ever did that, I could get into trouble. But that was, like, 15, 20 years ago, so they probably don't even give a shit. There were even times when they, I would talk about this, allegedly, that would be like, Billy says that this should only cost XYZ, and that you're overcharging us. Well, Billy doesn't understand what I'm going through. Billy isn't out there talking to these people, now is he? Anyways, so, they just need something to put it down on the books, to be quite honest. But anyways, so, um, so, like, allegedly, 
doing something like hacking Roaming Chan on a live stream to try to get information about who her mysterious donors are, that might be seen as not really going by the books. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, well, I cap allegedly a flag was captured, but it it wasn't like the ultimate super duper flag because they probably didn't know themselves at the time. But I passed that off. And I'm assuming four years later, they're finally doing something with it. So I'm assuming that what I could not get a hold of was that they have Russian Kremlin funding, which is fine if you admit it and you don't admit it and then end up doing like TP USA to and TP USA, in my opinion, is corrupt as well. Just not Russian corrupt, more like cocaine and bank hookers behind the scenes corrupt and shit like that. This is the thing. I do remember one time I was just kind of sitting there because I, I had no idea who any of these people were. It was at the second Night for Freedom. And these people were talking about how TP USA and Night for Freedom were like competing. And I guess they combined or whatever the fuck. But they were saying that Night for Freedom is cooler than TP USA. Think about it like this for a minute, all right? That dude uh, who was groping Sidney Watson or whatever the fuck it was and all that bullshit was about, that dude cheated on his wife with a dude at TP USA. And then that's what all that tea with like the Blair White Juniors was about two years ago or whatever the fuck it was. Okay? And then he like got in trouble for some kind of like scam thing and ran away to Australia. That's what you get at TP USA. At Night for Freedom, I basically stopped a whole bunch of crimes. Someone got stabbed and the people who stabbed him, when I was leaving, they tried to fight me and I scared them away. Um, uh, my career has improved since then. Um, I ha te Technically, I'm still a millionaire. I just not liquid for it and all that bullshit. Um, and P.S. I was fooling around with um, Tiffany Young from Girls' Generation. I just didn't know it. Which one of those sounds cooler to you guys? Right? Anyways, but... I have also come to the conclusion that Asha and Tiffany were both lying to me. Asha was just telling me whatever I wanted to hear so I would keep buying things that she wanted. Because she's very, very tricky. Mainly because she smells really... Like, look. This is the other thing with Asha. Like, if Asha was... Like she said she was at the beginning. If Asha would have been okay with me being like, this is the one that I plow all the time, and this is the one that I plow all the time and gives me babies, there'd be no issue. I'm totally capable of going somewhere and being like, this is my bio bitch, and this is my basically close enough, right? Because that's what it is. But... That's what the issue. That's what. That's basically what the issue is. Because she said at first that she was okay with that, and then when Tiffany showed up, she wasn't okay with that. And I think Tiffany's plan was try to like sow chaos in my life, so I would like look to her for comfort because she's like that. Instead, she just pissed me off, and I wouldn't like charge. What I'm saying is, I don't see anything wrong with plowing Asha for a whole year. I don't. Um, Asha can be very, very feminine. Now, the thing is, though, like, Tiffany wants, like, music videos and all that bullshit. So she just takes. Asha would be, like, right after I was done plowing her, she would start, like, trying to ask for things. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That doesn't make sense. No. But then, like, over time, I would eventually give in a little bit to some things. That's how I ended up eating Bonchon for a whole year. Fucking crazy. Crazy how it is like that. So I'm telling you, like... Anyway, I don't know what's going with that one. But what I do want to say is I've noticed that I totally don't really have many problems. Like, all the problems I had in 2018-2019... Like, technically were someone else's problems. I was just trying to fix them. All my problems in 2020 to 2022 technically were my parents' problems. I was just trying to fix them. 
all my problems from 2022 to 2024 was just Horfordy getting my niece involved in this bullshit and me being pissed off. And I probably could have just calmed down the last year, but I wanted to extra make sure this never happens again and all that bullshit. I pretty much only calmed down when my niece told me that it was annoying her. Like, if it's personally affecting my niece, okay, uncle will calm down. If it's, like, personally affecting Horfany, I don't give a shit. That's the whole point. Anyways, uh, I've officially unsubscribed from um, Taeon and no longer want a nut on her face because of that weirdo piece of shit, satanic, whatever the fuck. I know they go through their little character changes. I don't give a shit. I'm not playing these games anymore. Uh... I basically would even only said, oh, one day Tiffany, Tiffany Wang, because I don't give a fuck about K-pop. I just thought Tiffany Wang was hot. I wanted to plow some K-pop bitch I saw on, a, on Galaxy Supernova. She slid into my DMs. When I remembered that she was Stephanie from 2018, I was like, everything is off the table because 2018 bitch, what, her whole appeal was that she was a quiet little librarian who was going to be a stay-at-home mom and all that bullshit. If you want to sing and dance and all that bullshit on the occasion, I'm fine with that. I am not doing round two of this horse shit. At all. I do not need to deal with this bullshit. I basically make it, and this is the thing. If I was to get those other certs, like the CSISO also is another, is that one is getting more accepted and all that bullshit. If I was to get these other certs, I could be making like a half a million dollars a year in project management. The thing I keep on saying I don't want to do, maybe I'll just fucking grow up and become a Raichu and fucking do it and make a fuck ton of money. It, like, I don't have problems. Everyone else's problems are always trying to become my problems, and I'm sick of it. <clears throat> I'm sick of it. To be totally honest, like, if Tiffany wants to get back on my good side, she can put in a good word for me with Song Jia. Song Jia, I think you're nice. I think you look pretty. You in winter would be great arm candy for me. And I think that would teach Horfany a lesson also. And if Horfany wants to magically show up with all the money she stole in an explanation, I mean, I'll fucking give her the benefit of the doubt for an explanation. But the fact of the matter is, she probably was being paid to date Kevin Nish. Kevin Nish became the head of the Grammys or whatever the fuck, which means he was probably getting fucked by P. Diddy the entire time. The entire time... Uh, Tiffany was dating Kevin Nish. She was spending his credit card to come to my parties and play grab ass with me. Then, for some reason, she stole money from me and my niece. And, like, the the issue is, like, kind of, sort of, like, I spent $100,000 this past year. So I was like, well, now if I spend it, she can't, she can't spend it. And then I was like, well, if I don't give it to her, she can't really spend it. But... Allegedly and all that bullshit, but um, like I no, I don't need to deal with any of this bullshit. No, just because losers are used to paying you to date them, I'm not gonna do that. No, if you if if she would have just done what she she said she wanted to do, she could basically be writing blank checks. My credit is good. The issue is she's a cunt. She tried to pull rank. No, 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 no. You can do nice things and have nice things because I allow it. I'm being magnanimous. You demand, get the fuck out. You demand, fuck all. I demand my cock in your mouth. You demand, eat my shit. That's how it works. So now she gets to eat my shit, and I don't really give a fuck at this point in time. No matter what she does, she's coming to me as used goods. Well, my dad, well, then go take it up with your dad. Well, Hiani Pick, well, Hiani Pick's an old whore. Anyways, I'm going to play Black Myth Wukong. Doesn't it, anyone who's played Wukong and WoW, it seems like Mount Hui, Huboy, Huio, it seems like that is like Ungoro Crater. Because, like, in Vanilla WoW, for a while, Ungoro Crater was like the end of the game. And then they were like, oh, now level, because like, it's level 58 to 60. And then Encourage. And that was like, oh, well, you can't hack Encourage, so Blackwing Lair and all that other bullet. And they started making expansions. So they might start making expansions to to um, Wukong, because 
eventually you'll be able to use the cloud to fly to the around in the opening places but only because they made updates and there's other places where you can't use the cloud and it's super brand new like the lich king was because remember in wow at first you you could only fly in atlands level 70 and then you could and then you could fly in atlands and you could fly in the original place but you couldn't fly in the in the cold air place and like you have to get to level 90 or level 80 and then you can fly in the cold air place and all that bullshit so they're gonna probably just gonna have a whole bunch of dlc based off of mount who boy and all that bullshit that thing is massive i i fought some rhino whose horn i had a crack some giant cricket was following me around and it threw me off i beat the shit out of some some rock guai go golem thing but like it didn't even move until i hit it a few times Oh, also, I, if I ever get around to actually posting this, I am making a draft of a Journey to the West cyberpunk novel. I still have to do the other ones and upload. When I finish uploading a Wukong, I'll go back to making my novel, my choose-your-own-adventure novel. What was it? Cyberpunk Lone Wolf. <laughs> Eulogy for my poops. Yeah, I have a chat GPT that gives eulogies for my poops. Okay, so I'm going to probably gonna change this up a little bit. The Code of the Fist, Chapter 1, The Fall of Titans. Setting near future America, an economically devastated landscape where corporations rule and the government is a puppet. The country is split into corporate controlled zones and a wasteland of abandoned cities. I'll just leave it at that, and I'll play around with it later. All right, peace out.